the Everest Hotel and Restaurant on the edge of Bejala in Bethlehem. Once busy with guests and customers, it now looks more like an abandoned building. The hotel is trapped between Israel's wall and an Israeli settlement on one side and an Israeli military post in the area on the other. Makram Al Arja is the owner of the hotel. He tells me Israeli authorities have handed him eight written demolition orders in the past 20 years. The last one was a week before Christmas. But he keeps building. I have to struggle to stay here. If I give up, I'll end up living in Bethlehem like the rest of my family. In the past two years, they all left the country to the United States. I'm all alone here. In Bethlehem, there is some business, but here, nothing. The owners of the Everest Hotel have been trying to stay in business for the past 20 years, and they've been doing that against repeated demolition orders. Now they're telling us they're part of an entire Christian community battling to stay in their land against the Israeli wall. Zuhbi Zuhbi is a Christian activist from Bethlehem. He believes the Israeli demolition orders and confiscation of Palestinian land has turned the Christian community into hostages to uncertainty. It is a kind of silent trans uh, uh, deportation, uh, silent uh, that the camera wouldn't see this structural violence, this state violence to be seen in the eyes of the world. Close by in Beit Sahur, an entire community has chosen to stay. Thirteen buildings and growing, this compound for the Orthodox Church has been under threat of demolition by Israeli authorities for the past eight years. Yet construction is ongoing, in a race, it seems, with the ever-expanding illegal Israeli settlement of Abu Ghnaim. Ilham Awad and her family moved here eight years ago looking for stability. A low-income family, this apartment is all they have. The uncertainty is unnerving. For a long time, I keep all our officials' documents in a suitcase so that when the Israelis come to demolish the apartment building, we can at least rescue our documents and escape. Ilham and 200 other Christian Orthodox families have taken the Israeli authorities to court in a bid to prevent the demolition. This year, they will spend their eighth Christmas praying for a miracle. But despite this stressful state of uncertainty, there is plenty of Christmas spirit to go around in Bethlehem. It is, after all, the season to be merry. Nur Odi Al Jazeera, Bethlehem.